Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video, uh, we will try to solve one uh, query from a user from two different methods. The first one would be the Excel formula and the second one will be using of uh, Power Query uh, and uh, we will try to learn short techniques that how to split the data from a certain column. So the query is uh, states that uh, the user says I need to figure out the pack size from description uh, the right six uh, alphanumeric then multiply it with the quantity through formula so I have a huge data containing some same exact part number and description I need a formula for all so what actually he is required is that uh, in, in the data set he has one column of description and if you can see in the first example it says differential oil 85 w 140 208 ldr liters okay? so what he wants is is a, a new column uh, which is i have already created here a new column here and uh, in that column he need to extract that uh, number just before written liter ldr and all those uh, if you see a common thing in in this description uh, which are before the LTR he need to extract in a, in a separate column and then he needs to multiply that pack size number with the quantity to get the amount and that LTR would be simply a multiplication of two cells quantity multiplied by pack size but there is a question that how to extract the pack size by the Excel formula so I have already created a formula here and uh, to get follow and get a detailed explanation that how find my mid left and all these things concatenate with each other so we have already some recorded videos available on our youtube channel excel basement and you will find a playlist of basic to advanced excel where you can uh, go through the text functions a separate video for that uh, in, in this video, I will not explain uh, this entire uh, formula in much detail, but give you, giving you an idea is that uh, first, uh, how we created that solution is that uh, uh, we understood the common things in, the, in this column pattern and we know that uh, before the LTR, there is a number and before that, there is a space every time in each of the row. So if you can observe that. So every time when you uh, deal with the transformation of data, the first thing is you need to uh, recognize understanding the common points and understanding the common places and then how you split the data in, in, into separate columns. So according to that, identifying the position and identifying the common letters or keys between these uh, description uh, column. So I created this uh, nested formula here and definitely this is a not matter of five minutes or a 10 minutes. Uh, this might take a basic to intermediate uh, level user or a beginner uh, more than 30 minutes to understand the query and to execute uh, this uh, long equation or long formula. Uh, whereas, um, alternatively, you can use now Power Query ETL tool available in Microsoft Excel almost in all the versions. So, uh, after the video, I will uh, I will also copy and paste this formula in the video description so you can uh, after the video you can apply practically in your spreadsheet uh, but uh, what exactly we are doing in this video is to also learn the alternate method uh, of resolving this kind of issues uh, with the help of power query so I will just copy uh, the data here of three columns part number description and the quantity and I will copy this data and insert a new sheet shift F11 and I will paste that three columns data now this is the normal range data and uh, as you know that uh, first you are required to convert this normal data into a table format so I will select the data press the shortcut key that is control T and press enter key or click on OK button so after converting that normal range data into a table format go to data tab and click on from table or range small icon that is available in get and transform data group so once you click on it excel will let you enter into the power query editor that is the power query etl tool available and here we do some magic 
So the first magic would be that now we know that from the description column we are required to split the numbers in a separate column just before return LTR that is liters. So how are we going to do that? First step would be select the description column, right click and then click on duplicate column. So we have created a duplicate column and we will do all the transformation on this column. So again I will right click on this duplicate column and uh, I will go to the split column option available in this contextual menu and column and click on by delimiter. So once you are in the window of split column by delimiter here we will select uh, the rightmost delimiter and the delimiter would be this space. Now why we are selecting the rightmost delimiter here is because if you can see that all the numbers in the LTR word is uh, is located on the right side of the every row and uh, we are required to split on the basis of space which is available at the very right side. So here in the power query we have this feature available rightmost delimiter and the delimiter will be the space and I will press OK. Great. So we have now all the numbers and the LTR which is the common word has been split in a separate column. We are no longer required this particular column so we will right click and click on remove. Now what we are required is we don't want LTR in this uh, particular column. So what I will do is again right click split column and this time by number of characters and uh, once as far as right as possible and I will select three number of characters because the LTR the, these are three characters and uh, I will select once as far right as possible and I will click OK. So now as you can see that there are two columns being formed one with the numbers and one with the LTR. So we are no longer required LTR we will again uh, remove that column as well. Now, now after transforming your data uh, go to home tab click on close and load and now Excel will insert a new spreadsheet with your transformed data and here it is so we have that clean data without applying any formula here right so this is actually a pack size and uh, normally in Excel what we did we used to have a formula here which requires a, a lot of time to create it whereas we used alternatively we use the power query split columns technique to split that.